is Tony Kim, and this is my, part, uh, my friend, Nevada Sanchez. And we're two students at Electrical Engineering at MIT. And today we would like to showcase um, uh, a project that grew out of a digital electronics course here at MIT. So this project is called The Glove Mouse. It was inspired by the movie Minority Report. If you've ever seen it, there's a scene where Tom Cruise is wearing these black gloves and he's manipulating a computer by waving his hands in the air. We decided that we wanted to build this computer. And this is the result. So over here you can see we have a map of MIT. Uh, we're actually right over here in building 26. So I can zoom in over here. There we are. So the way this application works is you can manipulate a map kind of like you would on an iPhone. If you want to pan the map, you reach out and grab it and push it around. If you want to zoom in, you just press both fingers together and you can pinch apart or push together, zoom in and out. You can also see where you are with respect to the whole map and adjust your window to a particular location. And also, we wanted to determine how to figure out how the glove mouse would function as a replacement for the traditional mouse. So we threw on some icons, kind of like you would have on your desktop, and yet you can reach out and grab and move around. So I would like to take a moment to describe how the system is actually constructed. It's actually pretty remarkable that um, all of this was constructed for less than $100. So for instance, the camera that takes uh, the, the feed of Nevada's hands is, is a regular webcam. And the video signal goes through this briefcase, which I admit is a little more formidable looking. But the key component of this, um, this briefcase is a chip called the FPGA. For a hobbyist, you can buy f uh, something like that for less than a uh, $50 or so. Um, OK, so let me show you what the video camera sees. So, <laughs> so in this screen, we've got rid of the map application. And we're just showing the raw feed from the, uh, from the camera. As you can see, there is a big green blob and a big blue blob that represents Nevada's left and right hands. And what we can do is we can take this video feed and compute the position of those big blobs, and then we take that positional information and we send it straight over to the map application where they become Nevada's hands. Now, when we originally built the glove mouse, it was actually wired to this briefcase over here. But we went on to sparkfun.com and we found these really neat and very cheap radio transmitters and receivers. So over a weekend, we decided we'd get some microcontrollers that would take these button presses and transmit them over RF and over to the corresponding receiver over here. And as you can see, I'm picking up the button presses. And to power the gloves, we actually have a 3-volt lithium-ion cell phone battery. Uh, well, it was a wonderful experience to, to see a future technology in a movie and decide we wanted we, we, that it was really cool and actually just build it in real life. Okay, well, thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Uh,